Hey guys, welcome to your next PHP front to back video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the ternary operator as well as uh, shorthand if statements and shorthand loops. So, what I'm going to do is create a new file in our PHP sandbox and I'm going to save it as, uh, let's see, shorthands.php. Okay, and let's go ahead and throw in our PHP tags and we're going to set a variable here called logged in and we're going to set that to true. Okay, so uh, normally if if you were to use just a regular if statement, we could say if logged in and then we want to echo out uh, you are logged in and then we could put an else statement or an else and we could say echo you are not logged in. Okay, and let's just run that. Sandbox slash, and let's see, what do they call it? Shorthands.php. Okay, so we get you are logged in. If I change it to false, we get you are not logged in. Now, we can actually save ourselves. What is this? One, two, three, four, five lines. So we can save ourselves four lines and put this all in one line in a single statement. Okay, so uh, what we can do is we can say echo, and then in, in these parentheses we can put the condition. So let's say oops, logged in, and then we can use the ternary, ternary operator, and that is a question mark. And then what goes here is what we want to happen if that statement's true. And then we can put a colon and then what we want to happen if that's not true. Okay, so we want to echo this out if it's true. And this if it's not. Okay, so this one line will do the same exact thing that this five lines does. So let's go ahead and uh, just comment this out. And let's go ahead and run that and we get you are not logged in. If we change this to true and we run that, we get you are logged in. Now in this case, we're echoing it, but we can also do things like assign variables based on a condition. So let's say we wanted to set is registered and we wanted to only set it, we want to set it to true if logged in is true. So we could just put in our condition which is logged in this could just as well be like that uh, and it could be any condition and then we want to set it to true if it if that's true and false if it's false okay and then let's just echo is registered and we should get a one okay if we set this to false and reload then it's going to give us this is also false now now we can also nest these statements. Okay, so I'm going to use an example that I got from a blog post. We're going to say that this is a game and we're going to set the age of the person to 20 and set their score. Uh, we'll set their score equal to 15. Okay, and then we're going to do a nested uh, ternary. So let's echo out your score is and depending on the age and the score, we're going to say it's either average or exceptional. Okay, so let's just concatenate right here. And we're going to say score is greater than 10. And then we do our question mark. And then whatever we want to do if that's true. And then the colon and whatever we want to do if it's false. So we're going to nest another statement into these. So if it's greater than 10, then we're going to say, all right, well, if the age is greater than 10, then we're going to make this average. If they're under 10, we're going to make this exceptional. Okay, so that's the first nested uh, statement. Then on this side, we're going to again look at the age and we're going to say if the age is greater than 10, then let's put those two in there. Then we want to say uh, average. Uh, I'm sorry, not average, horrible. And then this would be average. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And we get your score as average. 
Um, so to reiterate, we're saying if the score is greater than 10, then we're going to check for the age. If that's greater than 10, then it's going to be average. If the person is under 10, that's going to be exceptional. Okay, so that's the first part. And then here we're saying uh, if the score is less than 10 and the age is greater than 10, it's horrible. If it's under 10, then it's average. Okay, so if we change, let's keep the age at 20 and we'll change the score to 5 and reload and we get your score is horrible. If we change the age to under 10, then it's going to be average. And if this score is over 10 and the age is under 10, we're going to get exceptional. Okay, so that's just an example of uh, a nested shorthand statement like that. All right, so I'm going to just comment all this out. Okay, and then we're going to look at an alternative syntax for uh, conditionals and loops and pretty much anything else. So this is, uh, let's just close our PHP. So this is usually what you would use if you're embedding your statements and stuff inside of HTML. So let's put a div here. And I'm going to give you an example uh, the regular way first. So let's say we want to say if uh, logged in. And what we would have to do here is either echo out the HTML, but we don't want to do that. So we would have to do it this way. PHP, close, we'd have to close it and go like that. And in here, we just want some HTML. We don't want any PHP. And we'll say welcome user. Okay, so let's save that. And let's set this to true. Okay, we get welcome user. Now, if we wanted to do an else, we'd have to go in here and do this. Open it. And over here, we'd have to do close it. And let's put an H1. And we'll just say uh, welcome guest. Okay, so that's going to work. If we change this to false, save it, we get welcome guest. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like how this looks with the opening and then we have to close it down here with new PHP tags. There is a better looking way to do this and it's not going to really save you lines, but it's going to look a lot better. So let's say we have our div and we want to do PHP if and then what we can do is we can use a colon. We can go like that. Okay, and then say logged in. And then when we want to end it, we can simply do end if like that. And then we can have our welcome user. All right, so if we save that and reload, uh, whoops, let's change this to true. And reload and we get welcome user. If we wanted to do an else here, we could just do PHP else and a colon. And then we can put our welcome guest. Okay, so now we get two welcome users and we should get two welcome guests. Now, um, you're not limited to just if statements here, you can use loops. So for instance, let's create a simple array. We'll say array equals, and we'll just put some numbers in here. And then down here, let's do uh, a div and we'll say PHP for each. And in here we'll say for each array as val. And then down here we can just do end for each. Okay, and let's just uh, let's see PHP echo val. Save that. And you can see we're looping through that array. Okay, you can also do this with loops. And I'm just going to paste it in because this is getting kind of long. Um, see, we're using a for loop and we're just going to echo out the iteration. So reload and we get 0 through 9. Okay, because the condition is if it's uh, less than 10. So just some, some different ways to write your code. If you're using PHP templates, it, this is a much nicer way than doing it like this. Okay, It doesn't save you lines. You have the same number of lines, but it looks a lot neater. All right, so that's it for the shorthand and alternative um, syntax for
conditionals. In the next video, we're going to take a look at filters and validation.